Hey, it's Joe. In this video, we're gonna check out how to install UFT and LeanFT 14. Check it out. So in order to download UFT, what's great about the latest version is you get 60 free days to try it out. So it's a 60 day free trial. So if you just do a search for UFT HPE, and you click on the link, that'll bring you to the UFT page and you can just click on the free trial when you click on the free trial, if you don't have a login, you would have to create a login. And once you have a login, you can go in, select a product that you want to download. So I've selected UFT. I'm going to click on download. When you download, you have a few options. The first one is the install type. So you can either grab the full DVD zip file or the UFT setup.exe. Because I'm not going to be using ALM for this demonstration or the licensing service setup or the extensible SDK or Web 2.0, I'm just going to download the smaller installer, which is the UFT 14 setup.exe. So once the install is downloaded, I'm just going to right click on it and install as an administrator. I'm going to take the defaults for the first setup dialog. So there's some prereqs that are required for UFT to be installed on your machine. Depending on your particular machine, the prereqs might be different because you might already have it installed. But once the prereqs are installed, I'm just going to take the next button on the welcome to dialog. I'm going to accept the terms of the license agreement. Click next. So you have a few options when you do the install. Those that don't know, LeanFT is the newer version of HP's test automation tools that allows you to actually integrate with your developers' IDEs and their languages. So if you use Java or C Sharp or Visual Studio with, or Eclipse, you can actually develop automation tests in Java or C Sharp or JavaScript, just like you would with Selenium. So I definitely want to install the NFT. Also, if you have any other add-ins that you want to install based on the applications you want to test, you can install them at this point. Right now, I'm not dealing with any of these other technologies. So I'm just going to click on next. If for some reason you installed it without selecting some of these add-ins, you can always update your install by double-clicking on the installer again and then modify your installation. So for the folks that are going to use LeanFT, you do need Node.js installed. All right, so I'm just going to install the Node.js first. So if you just go to Google and type in Node.js, and then click on Node.js, and it knows automatically what versions of Windows I have. I have Windows 64-bit, so I'm just going to grab the recommended version. Once the MSI is downloaded, I'm just going to go ahead and install it. So on the setup screen, I'm just going to take Next. I'm going to accept the license. Once again, I'm going to take the defaults. Um, make sure you have the add to path selected. Go next. And then click on install. All right, awesome. Now that Node.js is installed, I'm just going to go back to my UFT installation. Click next. All right, the next screen for the UFT installation, because I'm installing LeanFT, you have a few options of how you want to set up LeanFT. If you had Visual Studio installed, you could select Visual Studio to install the LeanFT IDE plugin. Right now on this machine, I just have Eclipse installed, so I'm going to select Eclipse. And then it's just looking for the executable of Eclipse. So I'm just going to point it to my Eclipse EXE. Next, you have a few options about mainly around security. In general, I'll select all these just because I can. And I think it makes it a lot easier later on so you don't have to troubleshoot why UFT isn't connecting with LM remotely. But for now, I'm just going to keep the defaults. So now we're on the last screen. Just click Finish. First thing, if you're using Chrome, you're going to be prompted to allow the HP functional testing agent to be added. I'm going to click enable extension. Also, it may seem obvious, but most people miss this. Read the readme file. The readme file contains a bunch of information about what the requirements are for UFT, 
It also has things that are new within UFT 14, another type of system requirement, so you need to check out. All right, so just to double check that our lean FT piece of UFT is installed, I'm just going to go to Eclipse. So the first thing I'm going to be prompted for is the Node.js. I'm going to allow access. You're also going to be prompted about the lean FT runtime engine. So I'm going to allow that access also. Now that you've installed lean FT on your machine and pointed to Eclipse, when you go in Eclipse, you actually have a cool drop down menu now of all the different things you can do with lean FT within your IDE. So this is a big help when you're creating Selenium test or lean FT test within Eclipse or Visual Studio. We'll take an in-depth look at more lean FT functionality in other videos. And also, I just want to double check that UFT has been installed and that I'm able to start it on the machine. So I'm just going to double click on the UFT shortcut. As I said, I did install the trial version. If you have a corporate license, you could always install a trial version and convert it over to a legitimate license at any point in time by clicking on the install license and entering in a valid license number. But for now, I'm just going to use the trial version. I'm going to click continue. Anyone that's familiar with UFT, it's the same exact workflow as before. When you start up UFT, you're prompted with a window asking you what add-in managers you want to use. So you want to make sure you only select what is needed for your test because the more add-ins you add to your test, it's going to add more overhead for your script. So you only do the minimum amount of what you plan on using for this particular test that you're creating. I'm going to allow access. And when you start up, it looks pretty similar to what you're probably familiar with if you've already used UFT 12 already. All right, so that's how you install UFT and LeanFT 14. So make sure to like this video below and stay tuned for more videos with more in-depth tutorials on UFT and LeanFT.